Welcome to the Navis Newscast for Friday, November 11th, 2022. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. Prime Minister of St. Kitts and the Navis, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, says his state visit to the Republic of China, Taiwan, was significant in more ways than one. It strengthens the solid platform built for well over three decades, which allows the two countries to implement projects under the broad rubric of functional cooperation. It also places them at the threshold of a new era of enhanced partnership where they consider creative solutions to the challenges which are threatened to prevent them from achieving their development objectives. While in Taiwan, Prime Minister Drew and his delegation had several engagements, including visits to the Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center, the Taipei International Travel Fair, and the main plaza of the National Performing Arts Center. Prime Minister Drew met with President of the Republic of China, Taiwan, Her Excellency Dr. Tsai Ing-wen, followed by a state banquet. He also met with Minister of Mainland Affairs, His Excellency Tai San Chu, as well as Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Dr. Joseph Wu, who hosted a dinner for the St. Kitts and the Nevis delegation. The Prime Minister and his delegation visited the Environmental Protection Administration, Executive Yuan, and met with Minister of Environmental Protection, His Excellency Tsai Ching Chang. They also visited the National Health Insurance Administration, where Prime Minister Drew was briefed on the outcomes of universal health care, digital information, and innovation. During the visit, Prime Minister Drew met and held fruitful discussions with the Director of National Health Insurance, His Excellency M.D. Po Chang Lee. The Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis also met with Premier of the Republic of China, Taiwan, His Excellency Seng Chang Su, then proceeded to meet with the students from St. Kitts and Nevis who are pursuing university education in Taiwan. The meeting took place at the Embassy of St. Christopher and Nevis in Taipei. The Prime Minister and his delegation wrapped up their mission on Thursday, November 10th, with a visit to Taipei Veterans General Hospital and the Taiwan International Cooperation and Development Fund, ICDF. The St. Kitts and Nevis delegation was expected to return to the Federation on Friday, November 11th. As part of CARICOM Energy Month 2022, citizens of the Caribbean community are invited to apply or nominate a peer, mentor or mentee to be recognized for their contributions to energy and climate resilience. This is a call for women who challenge the status quo, develop, lead or support transformational initiatives, have achieved or contribute to the successful implementation of sustainable energy activities, demonstrate leadership, enthusiasm and commitment commitment and are bold, brilliant and innovative. The categories for the CARICOM Women in Sustainable Energy Wise Awards are Business Entrepreneurship and Finance, Community and Advocacy, Policy and Regulations, Utilities and Industry and Youth Leader. Visit www.tinyurl.com slash CARICOMWISE to apply. The deadline for nominations is Friday, November 18, 2022. This initiative is implemented by the CARICOM Secretariat in partnership with the Caribbean Development Bank and the Caribbean Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency. Nevision author and poet Hansel Manners is donating one copy of his most recent book titled Beyond the Bush and More to each school on the island. During the handing over ceremony which took place on Thursday, November 10th at the Department of Education, Manners shared his motives behind the donation of the 14 books. I think the book has huge educational value and for that reason I decided to present a copy to each primary school and each secondary school on the island. And I'm told that amounts to 14 copies. And the reason for this is, as I said, I think it has educational value. It's good for the young people to know about how it was when they were not yet born. And I trust that this book would encourage people to read. And the last reason is that I want to encourage writing. We have very, uh, quite a few local people who have come forward to tell their stories, and this is a good example of that. So I trust it will encourage people not only to read, but to write. This is the author's second book about Nevis, and it contains three stories relating to how life was on the island throughout the author's younger years. 
Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton thanked Manners for his donation. She also spoke on the potential ways in which the book could contribute to the development of the education system. Then I want to say thank you to Mr. Manners, Mr. Hansel Manners, for presenting his book Beyond the Bush and More to our schools. This will be of great value as we look at um, our enhanced curriculum and our thrust uh, towards reading and writing, allowing students to, to write. In fact, we focus on the writing process. You'll be happy to hear that we take them through the writing process as with the ultimate goal being publishing. And publishing for a student might mean writing it on a full leaf and sticking it on the wall, but it's, it's the publishing nonetheless. And, and we hope that um, this would inspire them to go beyond and to publish their own materials as well um, for the public to be able to consume. Copies of Beyond the Bush and more are available for purchase at Amazon.com. Still to come, CARICOM Secretariat launches regional short film and photography competitions. The details after this break. Tune into NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. BBCTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms. When me ain't see and you ain't see NNC. Welcome back. The CARICOM Secretariat is inviting filmmakers to capture the story of the sustainable energy transition in the Caribbean community for a chance to win up to $2,000. US The CARICOM Secretariat is asking filmmakers between the ages of 15 and 40 years to create an original piece describing the sustainable energy transition in CARICOM at the household, community, national or regional level. The grand prize is $2,000 US dollars. The People's Choice will receive $1,000 US dollars. For the photography competitions, submit an original photo capturing the essence of Caribbean energy. The age categories are 15 to 24 years, 25 to 39 years, and 40 years and older. The grand prize for each category is $2,000 US dollars. For more information and full details about the regional short film and photography competitions, visit energy.caricom.org. The deadline for entries is November 30th, 2022. The Department of Agriculture's Abattoir Division is encouraging persons to place their orders for their Christmas specials. Manager Garfield Griffin outlined the items available for purchase. This year we are doing uh, smoke hams, smoke pork ribs, smoke chicken, smoke beef, and a new addition, which is our rotisserie chicken. We're just appealing to the public to get your orders in early. Uh, order, we already start taking our orders. Uh, you could just call the Abattoir 469-5521 and um, ask them to put you onto the abattoir so you could get your orders in so we could um, have your product available and ready for Christmas. Griffin is encouraging persons to place orders early. The deadline for orders this year is December 9th. Um, this will give us enough time to do all the preparation to meet uh, the Christmas season. So this, this stuff actually goes through a process of preparation about a week. So December 9th, deadline for all orders this year. Interested persons can place their orders at the Abattoir Division by calling 469-5521, extension 6520, or 669-8726, or 664-5765. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. I'm Donis wilkinson Keynes. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing. Breathe. Release. Transform.